Next, we will present our first ever Founder Circle Awards. This award was established by the Board of Trustees as recognition of the tremendous vision, passion, and leadership of the individuals who were instrumental in founding the Cancer Support Community Central New Jersey. Their efforts to engage and mobilize the community support for our mission were vital to the creation of this amazing organization. They also gave other community members the opportunities to participate and help changing the lives of so many people. Although there are many, many individuals who have played an important role in the establishment of, and the success of this organization, nothing we have accomplished would have been possible without their personal commitment to this organization. This award recognizes their trans transformational commitment. Tonight we honor Lynn Arnold, Nancy Dowd, Eunice Jadlocki, and Ann Tidy, who also gets an award for coming the farthest since she came from New Zealand to accept this award tonight. In addition to the award, um, the recipients are going to receive two other little special thank yous. Uh, a limited edition sterling silver necklace made specially by John Wind for CSC. There were only 200 of them made. The necklace is called the Tree of Life, and it symbolizes growth, healing, and renewal. And the diamond chip in the necklace represents love, strength, and longevity. And we hope that they will wear them with honor. They will also receive one of these three framed prints behind me that show the new uh, barn, which we know that everybody is so excited about, and the beautiful setting that they helped establish. So presenting the, these awards to our founders will be our board chair emeritus, Dr. Mark Geller, and former board chair and current trustee, Tom Scheibel. So Mark, will you come up to do the first set of awards? Like I would that? like to ask Ann Tidy to please come up. <clears throat> ah, well, a few things I'd like to say first. It's great to have Ann here. Since she's here, I felt that it would be helpful for her to get to see everybody, so she's coming up while I make some introductory comments. It's a very emotional evening to um, be sitting with Eunice and Lynn and Nancy and Ann um, is pretty amazing. Uh, as I thought about these awards that we're going to be giving out tonight, Tom giving them and I giving them, these four ladies, it feels like we got some masterpieces that we've assembled for everybody to see tonight. Our collection. There actually are other people who could be in this collection. I could even be in it. I could be one of them. But you got to stop someplace. <laughs> I could actually make you laugh and say, somebody told me yesterday that if I had been a woman, I might have been the fifth. <laughs> <clears throat> but it has nothing to do with that. It's an honor and it is a privilege to remember and to see and to know what's there now and to know that this wonderful place that I now work for part-time, running a support group for men, running a support group for kids whose parents have cancer, is amazing. It's just amazing. So, the lady to my right, who I knew with a different last name, is now Ann Brown. And she wasn't part of what we were doing for a terribly long period of time. 
But what she did when she was a part of things was phenomenal. If you need some help with organization, she's the one. If you need help staying on track, keeping track of where you're going, knowing what your mission is and holding to the mission, she's a stickler. She's great. And sadly, she went through a difficult time in her life and had to change what she was doing. So we had to say goodbye to Anne. And it's amazing to say hello to Anne tonight, to meet her husband, John. Thanks for coming. And um, it's great that you're here. It's wonderful to see you and to give you a hug. I gave you one already, now I'm going to give you another one. Okay. <laughs> and um, we have an award for you. First, I get a hug. Yes. <laughs> Could I ask Nancy Dowd to approach the podium, please? And there's also a part of me that would like to ask Marty to approach also, because he has been an amazing partner to us and to Nancy. And when it comes to people like Marty and Nancy, I don't think we'd be here today if it were not for the two of you, for all that you've done for us. <clears throat> we're actually going to be running late tonight because I'm going to tell you what Nancy's been doing for the past 13 years for us. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Nancy and I wrote letters together. We talked about having people come over for an open house in my house. Sadly, nobody showed up. But Nancy and I were there, and we had food. Um, we didn't fill the house the way we did tonight. So it's really been amazing. Um, I met Nancy at the Can American Cancer Society, where she met Lynn Arnold, where she met Eunice Jadlocki, and where she met Ann Brown. And what Nancy has done quietly, Nancy does it quietly, has been phenomenal. And so tonight, the story is out. Sorry, Nancy. Uh, Nancy is an amazing ambassador, an amazing fundraiser, an amazing person to go out and to greet people and to say welcome to the cancer support community. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. Although, I guess we have two more people coming, so I better be careful what I say. Uh, I think I've gone through the list. Um, thank you for everything you've done all these years. <laughs> <laughs>